everyone, this is Faze and welcome to my channel. Today, I am so excited because I am an avid reader. And for the longest time, I've been wanting a ebook reader that came in color. And don't take me wrong, there are options that are coming out with e-ink displays that have color. But when you look at the three big players in the market, Kobo, Amazon, Barnes & Noble, till now, there has never been a colored display from them, till now. Because Kobo has sent me the Kobo Clara and the Kobo Libra and these are their new colored versions. So for the first time ever, finally, one of these big players is coming out with a ebook reader that has color. And to be honest, I've never used an ebook reader with a color display, and I've been wanting one for ages. And finally, I've got it. And Kobo was very nice to send me both the Kobo Libra and the Kobo Clara to review for you guys. So today I'm just going to be unboxing these, but I will be doing a thorough detailed review that will be coming soon. So stay tuned for that. But anyways, let me unbox these for you right now. So let's start with Kobo Clara. On the front of the box, it has an image of the Kobo itself. It also lets you know that the Kobo is made out with recycled materials, so that's good to know. On the side, you get more branding, and the whole box sort of has this look of a hardcover book, which is pretty neat, I must say. But anyways, let's unbox this now. So at the bottom, there's this tape, and once that tape is removed, you just slide the Kobo right out of the box. All right, so let's put this box to the side now. All right, so there's this little tab that you can pull on that pushes the Kobo out, and here we go. Wow, this is light. I'm quite surprised with how light this is. It feels very good in the hand, and I'm really digging this textured back. Okay, but more on this in a second. Let's put this aside and see what else comes in the box. So it looks like we get some paperwork and uh, there's this quick start guide that basically goes over how to use this device. All right, let's pull this back up and put this to the side. So let's pull this tab and see if there's anything inside. Yep, nothing. So let's open up the bottom tab and we're greeted with a USB-C cable that is used to charge the Kobo. So that's pretty much what comes in the box, the cable, some paperwork, and the Kobo itself. All right, so let's go back to the Kobo Clara. There's this plastic screen protector on the screen, so let's remove that real quick. And now let's hit the power button and turn this on. As you can see, there's a small LED indicator letting you know the device is turning on. And here it is, all booted up. And guys, this looks so freaking cool. I must say it looks fantastic. This is a six inch screen using a Kaleido 3 display. Okay, now before we dive deeper into the color of the display, let's put this Kobo Clara aside and let's now take a look at the Kobo Libra. As you can see, the box is similar in theme to the Kobo Clara, but the box is definitely bigger for sure. After all, this Kobo Libra does have a large display measuring at seven inches. Now, unlike the Clara, the box of the Libra has a tab on the side of the box that opens up the box like a book. The material itself is thicker and feels more premium. All right, so let's pull the tab and remove the Libra. And here it is. The Libra has an asymmetrical design with side buttons as well, and these buttons are quite responsive and easy to click. The back has the same textured back. Let's now remove the screen projector. Also, unlike the Clara, the Libra's power button is on the back left. So let's turn this on now. Just like with the Clara, there is an LED indicator that blinks, letting you know the device is booting up. All right, so the device is on, and now let's put this aside. Just like with the other Kobo, this one too, you get some paperwork and a USB-C cable. All right, so here's the size difference between both the Kobos. Both are waterproof as well for up to 60 minutes. Now there's one more thing that I'm gonna unbox for you guys, and that's the second generation Kobo stylus that is made for the Kobo Libra color. So with this stylus, you can write notes and make highlights in any color of your choice on this color Kobo Libra. You can easily recharge your stylus through a USB-C power source and it includes two spare replacement tips as well. All right, so now let's take a quick look at the stylus. 
It's fairly light and there's even a digital eraser, which is really neat to have. And on the side, you have the USB-C port to charge the stylus. Okay, so that basically wraps up my unboxing for the new Kobo Clara and the Kobo Libra. And I've got them in their cases. Kobo even was very nice and, you know, sent me cases for them. So I'm going to be using both of these devices quite religiously for the next week or so. Um, so I hope you enjoyed my unboxing video. And if you want to see a review for this, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Um, it, it should be dropping in the next week or so. So I'm going to be giving my full honest thoughts on what I think about the Kobo Clara and the Kobo Libra. And I still can't believe I finally have gotten the chance to experience an ebook reader in color. And I can't wait to be reading comic books and magazines and be highlighting stuff in color. I think it's going to take the experience of reading in an all new level, especially when it comes to e-ink displays. But like I said, subscribe to my channel, stay tuned for my review, and I'll see you very soon.